It's 10.15 at night. And I'm just starting to recap. This bunch of bulls. Panther fans, it's cold. It is it is this is just not natural. First, we had a one o'clock Sunday afternoon hockey game. Now, ten thirty at night. I know for those of you who are Sharks fans, you're like what? This is normal. Ain't normal for us. And I live in Maryland, but for those poor suckers in Florida, they had to leave the beach early. They got to leave the club. It's 10.30 at night. I don't know what I'm saying. I just woke up from a nap like 10 minutes ago. So you all have to forgive the intro. <laughs> all right. So we got the Sharks tonight. We got Stolars in net. I don't think there's any other lineup changes, to be honest. I've been busy making content all day. And I didn't see any updates yesterday on the practice in terms of lines or anything like that. I will say, however, I cracked the joke twice. I did it on the recap, and I did it on with the review with Stu. I cracked the joke twice about having Ekblad and Montour play on wing. And wouldn't you know it, that son of a bitch, Maurice, he listens to the show and in practice Monday so that a couple of guys could get a maintenance day off. I'm telling you... Colby reported he had Ekblad and Montour on the wings. All right, it's not even it's not even funny now. The house is bugged. All right, it's just way past the point of coincidence at this point. Now, in terms of this game, and two points. I really, 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 really don't care how it looks, with the exception of I wouldn't mind a bit of a high-scoring game tonight just to keep my ass awake in the chair. That's my request. All right. This is going to now. Now, if you've been a fan of this channel, you know, for the first several years, I never streamed. Then I did pregame streams. Last year was the first year we did full game streams, but I didn't, I didn't do the late games. My son Kyle did the late games. This is the first year my old decrepit ass is staying up for the late games. Wish me luck. All right, so it's one, one after one. Now, what do we got so far? Well, let's see. Um, this game is going to go either one or two ways, right? Because Panthers kind of look meh out there right now. They look like they're sleepwalking a little bit. So it's either going to get worse or it's going to get better. I have a feeling they'll come out in the second period and play a little bit more like themselves. They are not playing their normal game. They're getting a little bit too fancy. We had a power play where we're all just screaming to shoot the puck. I mean, the amount of passing was absurd. And then Ryan Lomberg got the power play, does it by himself, gets a steal, and has a nice, beautiful laser shot to give us a one nothing lead. Then Stolarz kind of gives up a rebound that was just like perfectly, unfortunately placed. Nets halfway open. He can't get quite back in time. Sharks tied up 1-1. And, of course, it was former Panther Mike Hoffman gets his first goal of the season. Duclair is out sick tonight. So, I'm not worried yet. All right, it's 1-1. We don't look uh, engaged. But we've played first periods that haven't looked good before. And we come out in the second period and we look good. If we don't look good in the second period, then I get a little bit concerned. Alright, so 2-1 Panthers after 2. A little bit better that period. We looked a little bit more cohesive, a little bit more organized. Reinhardt gets his 485th goal of the season on route to his 25 million per year contract may as well be that from whatever we're going to have to try to pay for him look good the only real complaint i have about anything that went on out stolars has made some good saves 
All right, but you guys know I can't praise goalie a whole lot during the game. He's made some good saves. He does have a tendency to give up some really, really, really big rebounds. But we're winning the game, and, it, and we're not asleep. That's the best thing we can hope for at this point. Um, the other thing is, is even the announcers are confused as to what the lines are because Maurice put him in the blender for whatever reason. So he moved for Hickey up. He moved... Rodriguez down, but then we saw Rodriguez again. Even nobody can figure out what the hell is going on with the lines or why Maurice would even go messing around with that top line. That really makes no sense. Maybe we'll get some clarity in the third period. All right. It's like 12 20 and 2. points two in the morning <laughs> but we will take it it seems as though at the beginning of every game I say I don't care how it looks and at the end of every game I'm saying I told you I don't care how it looks doesn't matter how doesn't matter how right now okay it don't really matter how at any point we get two points we won five straight and Look, give the Sharks credit, okay? They have had a hell of a bad goal of things, right? They don't have a whole lot of talent on that roster. They fought and clawed and actually ended up taking the lead in that third period. And then we kind of said, oh, hell no. And come back, we win the game, good to go. Um, I'm not going to bitch too much about what I thought was the Bennett goal. We... the. There was some odd explanation that we heard on the stream from ESPN. Something about even though the puck didn't leave the zone because our because Bennett's skate hit the Sharks player's skate and there was that momentum that kept the puck in the zone that it was offsides. I, I have to hear that one again, but it didn't end up affecting us. Just unfortunately, Bennett doesn't get his goal. Um... The, the the top line every every all the lines look pretty good tonight. Anton Lundell, <laughs> Anton Lundell can't buy one. He shoots with about two seconds left at the empty net, and he, you know, he was all alone and it was at an angle and he missed by about a couple of inches. So that that was unfortunate for him. But otherwise, I mean, especially on defense, we look we look fine. You know, we had our moments. Stolarz is not Bobrovsky. Now, Stolarz had a bit of a night tonight, okay? He tweaked his knee, I think, going from post to post. Then he got run over by Lorenz, and he had a neck-shoulder thing going on. But he stayed in, finished the game. Um, I'm going to say, from what I've seen from Stolarz, at some point you're going to want to bring up Spencer Knight. If this team is going to um, give Bob enough of a break and go into the playoffs, I would not want to go into the playoffs with Bob and Stolarz. I would want Spencer Knight to have come up, got some games, and let's see if he can get get rolling a little bit and have him be the backup. Stolarz isn't bad, but he gives up way too many rebounds. And you start talking about playing tougher teams at the second half of the season. And if we ever needed him in the playoffs, I don't have a lot of confidence in how that situation would go. And that's all I'll say about that. Otherwise, um, we're going to get Ekblad Montour back really, really soon. And I assume it's going to be Mahura and Belinskis off the ice. Not that they deserve to be taken off the ice. Everybody's playing well. I mean... Everybody is playing well. You know, the worst thing that you can say right now is the third line's not getting a lot of goal production. I mean, that's really, that's really, I mean, that's such a minor, that too, right? Okay, that too. It's such a minor complaint to say that that's really the biggest thing that you could even look at right now is Lundell, Luce, Ryan and Cousins aren't putting the puck in the back of the net. But they're not, you know, they're not, they're not playing bad defensively either. So I don't know what needs to happen for those guys. You would kind of think it would work because 
It works so well, Lundell, Lusterino with Marchment. Um, Cousins is kind of the same kind of gritty kind of player, but Marshman put 18 pucks in the net that year. So not really sure what's going on there. Just let them keep playing. They're not playing bad. Lundell certainly looked better with Kachuk and Verhage. Of course, that's with Kachuk and Verhage. But again, it's minor. It's minor, minor, minor complaints. At some point, we will need offensive production from those guys. But right now, we won five in a row. We keep banking two points. It's two in the morning, and I'm going to go to bed. This is going to be a short recap. That's how it's going to go. So, um, had a fantastic stream tonight. Oh, my, we had over 100 people by the end of the, by the end of the, by the middle of the third period. We had over 100 people at 1 o'clock in the morning on the hockey stream. So, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just absolutely um, I'm giddy with how well the channel's doing. Really, really happy about that. Tons of super chats. Again, thank you all for all the support. It's just been really fantastic. And we just keep on going. Just keep on banking two points, right? It don't have to look pretty. It, it don't matter how it looks, okay? And what, we get two power play goals tonight, right? Yeah. So we had power play goals. We had two the other night. I believe we had two again tonight. I, I, I'm, I'm tired, but also, um, with nothing to complain about, I'm concerned because as soon as I start praising too much, you know what happens. So I guess all that's left to do is complain about Lundell and Lusterine and not scoring. That's such a weak complaint, though. So I don't know. You guys tell me what to complain about because if I get too happy about the oh, I complained about Stolars. That that should do. That should do. All right. I'm going to go to bed. All right? I'm going to go to bed. Stu and I will not be live at 8 o'clock in the morning because he's got to do something with his car. So we will be live for the members at some point, probably before noon. Lots of new members. Um, Jake, thank you, buddy. Normally on the streams, I will give out memberships, and I really appreciate that. Jake gave out 20 memberships tonight, so there's 20 new members. That's just fantastic. I love it. Monday through Friday podcast for the members and patreon supporters links are in the description three bucks a month two points it's 2 a.m i'm gonna get three hours of sleep good night